I think I heard you use the word patient uh, in your, your answers just there. Is that sort of what the key was when you had so much territory and, and possession but couldn't quite turn it into points early on in that first half particularly? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's... Um... You know, I think if you if you do your research and you look at how many tries they concede in test matches, and it's not many. And, you know, the, even the the series in, in South Africa, you know, the South Africans found it hard to score tries against them and ended up taking, you know, they built their scores in three. So um, so I, I like their patience, you know, and sometimes in the past we can get a bit distracted when when our, when when we get slowed down or things don't work and we're, we're trying to build a bit of resilience in that space. So, um Please, you know, even things like, you know, I think the decision by Gaz to take the three points to go from seven to ten was, was a really good decision too. And it just keep building a bit of scoreboard pressure and, and just enable us to just keep building some blocks after that. 39 nil. What were you more pleased with the 39 aspect or the nil aspect? Yeah, I, I probably the nil, I think. I think um you know, I, I felt our defence looked uh, looked really strong. I thought at set piece time we 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 gave them a lot of poor quality ball, and 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 our defence was was strong and, and aggressive at times. And so, um, you know, it wasn't perfect, but you know, I think we, we imposed themselves, and I I did feel quite safe watching watching them have the ball, and it felt we were pretty secure. So, you know, we're making some good steps in that space, and and I th I think the key is that we're actually enjoying the defence side of it at the moment. Thanks, Matt. G'day, Ian Brody. Congratulations, Brody. First win as uh, captain. Ian, could you talk a little bit about uh, the decision? Obviously, Anton Leonard Brown being injured, Rico Duani coming in, uh, when that was made, and how much prep Rico had, and sort of also just a little bit about his performance today in the midfield. Uh, well, Rico was on the bench, so he prepared to play, and he knew he was going to be covering midfield, so he had plenty of time to prepare. Um, when did he know? He knew um, late yesterday afternoon, uh, right at the end of the captain's run, Anton bent down a scoop of ball up and just tweaked a, a tendon at the top that he did on the Saturday beforehand that, that, had, that had healed. So it doesn't sound like it's very significant, but it was just enough to give him a bit of a niggle. So it's um, we made a decision to, to make the change at that point. Cheers. And Brody, at the end, there are quite a few Chiefs players on the field. Do you feel like you're back in Hamilton? <laughs> well, not quite, but, uh, you know, it's awesome to see um, Chiefs boys out there and anyone. I mean, you know, Luke's had a couple of uh, weeks where he hasn't played and then come on and perform like he did and scored two tries. Um, it's awesome, awesome to see when any of those boys get their opportunity to come in and add to the group like he did tonight, especially. Must be good in particular with Luke. Obviously, you've been away for a couple of years from the environment and to come back and he's back involved and obviously playing some pretty good footy. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, being around him for a wee while, like touched on at the Chiefs and you know, when you come to the 2019 World Cup, everyone knew how to see what his potential and how special of a player he is. And, you know, he, he didn't participate, had to head, head home there and he's worked his way back in here and I think he's taken his opportunities um, hugely and, and look forward to him doing it more. Thanks, guys. Cool. Should we go to Lynn McConnell next? Hi there. Thanks. Uh, well done, guys. Uh, Brody, one for you. Um, Ian's mentioned the fact that the patience was the important thing in the first half. How much did, how often did you have to keep reinforcing that during the first half? Yeah, we talked about it a lot. We talked about, you know, if we, if we just got to keep carrying and cleaning and uh, not letting them get over the ball and our opportunities will come. Um, you know, like, like Ian touched on, it wasn't always completely accurate and I guess that's something we'll touch on, but on the whole, we, I thought we really had to work and then you know, we started to find some space a little bit wider. So um, I thought it was a great test match. You know, not every test match is going to be easy and um, you know, playing the Argentinians is different to Australia. So I thought it was good for us leading forward to the next two or three weeks. Cool, and thanks, it, Lynn. Sorry, um, we're just going to have to keep it moving. Um, if we can just do one question each and just get around everyone and we'll see how much time because we're under a bit of time pressure. So, Mark, do you want to go next? Yeah, um, Ian, uh, I just wonder, um, does it feel to you like Bowden's um, performances are building at the end, uh, on the back of what you saw tonight? And can you just also talk about um, his calf? Is he okay? He was icing it at the end. Yep, he's okay. 
tightened up. Uh, he's a bit, a bit more cramp, um, same as last week. Uh, is he building? Yes, he is. He, he's playing well. So I'm really pleased with him. Cool. Thanks, Mark. Elliot, do you want to jump in? Sure. Um, thanks, Joe. Hi, Ian. Um, since that uh, loss last year, you haven't uh, conceded a point against Argentina. How much of a focus have you put on the defence, and does that defeat still play on the mind when you go into this this um, you know sort of games against Argentina? No, uh, no, it doesn't. Look, you can't you can't linger on the past, just like you can't linger on the we didn't linger on the thirty eight nil in the last game we played them. It's all about the here and now, and um, you know we know history facts will get chucked up at us all the time, but um, you know this group's about um, paving its own path through this tournament. Um, we've we've got some pretty clear objectives we want to get out of it, and and you know we've we've done a lot of work on the Argentinians and what they've been delivering this year, uh, and largely they've been pretty impressive, particularly defensively. And so, um, you know, overall I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the way that that we went about it. Um, I like the way our defence is building, and we're getting a good attitude there, like I said, and and that bodes well for what is still a, a long year in front of us. Yep, Jamie, do you want to jump in? Hey guys, before you carry on, Jamie, we've got yep, probably time minutes. time for one more question. Sorry, team, we have to yep. keep moving. Yep. Thanks, Joe. Um, yeah, sorry, just a question about the um, change in goal kicking uh, there. Uh, Ian, was that uh, your call, or is that a call that was made on the field by the um, by the captaincy group? No, no, that that's uh, Bodie's call. He's um, look, he, he like I said, he he started to cramp up in that calf near the end of the first half, and it. And so we asked, I, I, I had a conversation with Pete and, and, and directly to Bodie and said, well, just take, just leave the kicking, mate. So that's why I did that. Thank you. 